Hello, I'm Dale, and today I'm going to teach you how to build this uh, Lovebird box. As you can see, it's a shoe or boot box. So we've got a bit there that lifts up and a lid there. So the bird will go in there, come down there, and nest will be in there. So this one works alright for fishes and masks and peach face. I find the fishes and the mask like to build a chamber, so this one's going to be great for them. So I'll put this one aside and we'll put it together. So there's a fair few things involved in putting this one together. So we've got the two sides. Now all these pieces are made out of 12mm ply are all 130 wide. So you can cut a strip and then cut it back into the size you want. So we've got the entrance, we've got the front, the lid, the actual top, the bottom and the back. So start with the bottom, they'll go there, the back will go on there, and the front goes on there. To start, we'll put some nails in there. So we're using 20mm nails. Just need to put about three across there. Just double check that we've got these right again. So now we can glue it. Make sure you watch my video on uh, why we use glue. If you're not using glue to put your boxes together, it's really just a waste of time. Your boxes will come apart without it. Put some glue on there, spread down a little bit, and line the back up. And the front will go on there. So again, three nails. And then again, glue. So the plans are in the description. So you can go across to the website, download the PDF, and make your own. Line that up, nail it on, doesn't have to be perfect because as long as it works, birds aren't going to worry if it's all square. We need to bring the sides back in. Make sure it's going to fit. We just run some glue around there and we can nail that one on. Make sure it's lined up. Put a few nails in. Pull the front in if it's sticking out a little bit, or make sure that's lined up there. the same on the back. Make 
Once that side's on, you can turn over and put the other side on. So if you do have any boxes or things you want to see me make, just let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can come up with a design. There are a few more uh, videos that should be out soon, maybe. But they do take a bit of time to get the plans together. Alright, so glue and nail it. Okay, now you should have that shape all nailed and glued together. Now you want to take the entrance, which will slide in here. So it should line up roughly the side here. And then we'll just glue and nail that one in as well. Try to keep it there so you can see it. Turn over and nail the other side. Double check where it is. Alright, now we've got the front in there. We now put the two lids on. Now as these have been cut to the same size as the front, things like that, they may not fit in there. You might need to run them through the saw again, just take a few mil off. This one seems to be alright. So when you put it in, it will just go up against the front there. Now we're not going to glue this one. We're going to get some 25mm nails. We've been using 20 so far. And we're just going to put one in this side, through the side, make sure that stays in there, and in there, and then we'll turn it over. And straight across from it. Put another one in. Now that should work as a hinge and the lid will lift up. Now the other one will go in the top here. This one here should sit on the front there, but have a small gap along the back. So again, just drive 25mm nail in. 
turn over. Put the other one in. Again, test that it opens. So that gap there is just so when the lid opens, it doesn't get hooked. And there it is. So that's how you build a Blackbird box. If you want, you can have it with the holes in the back. So if you want to mount it on the side of an aviary or on a breeding cage, so they can enter that way and you've still got access to it from out the front and they'll pop out that way. You can go in the side with the hole, it's up to you. So there it is. So as I said earlier, the plans are in the description, just click the link and follow it through there. If you want to know why I'm using glue, make sure you watch the glue video and give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see any other boxes get made. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye.